How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? Good. How can I help? <laughs> I'm Sophia. I'm from New York. Um, I have a crush on somebody. Oh. It's kind of a big crush. I think there's a mutual flirtation going on. Mm -hmm. uh, the only problem is he's my boss. Oh. Now, what, what type of work do you do? I'm in the hospitality industry. Is um, your boss a lot older than you? No, we're we're close to the same age. He's, is he married? Uh, <laughs> I normally wouldn't go there, but you're we not have a going really there. Good... Sophia! <laughs> Sophia, do you understand that we are on in 54 countries? <laughs> that your coworkers are now seeing this, and if the wife gets a load of you at the job site, she's gonna punch you in the head with my microphone. <laughs> Uh, go, go ahead, humor me. What's your question, Sophia? How old are you? I'm 25. All right, go ahead. What's your question? <laughs> uh, well, I was going to ask if I should pursue it. No. <laughs> you are in way over your head. Do not pursue a married man. Okay, okay, fair enough. Think, think of yourself as being worth more than that, okay? You're a beautiful girl. You, you can get another. Thank you. She's not going to listen. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> How you doing, Wendy? How you doing? I'm doing great. I'm James from Cleveland, Ohio. I have a Hi, question. Hi, James. So two of my exes got together this summer through me. One of them I was dating for 10 years, and the other one I was dating for 10 days. <laughs> I'm still really into the one that I was with for 10 years. Should I wait till they break up, or should I just break them up? What do, you think <laughs> do you possess that kind of power? I do. It's all in me. But why would you want to break... How long have they been seeing each other? Since July of last year. Leave them alone. You think they, so? They've been together for six months. You know what? But keep an eye on the situation. Okay. And hopefully they won't be watching what you're saying right now. They probably are because the ex of 10 years knows I'm on the show. Hi. And so... <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Good luck. How are you doing? Hi, Wendy. I'm Linda. How you doing? Hi, Linda. I have a boyfriend who's 10 years younger than me. Okay. We've been together. We've been together 13 years. We live together. He's bringing up the M word. Wants to get married. I don't know if I want to ruin a good thing. Okay. Should I, t should I take the plunge? Well, what's your sitch? Uh, but were you married before? I've, I've been married before. He's never been married. Okay. And, and how many kids do you have? If Two it, adult and, children. Uh, they're adults? Yes. Um, what is, what are your apprehensions about getting married? It's so good now. I'm afraid that if I take that plunge again, I might, like, jinx it. It didn't work out the first time. Well, the, the thing is, is that, you know, when you fall off a horse, the best thing to do is to get back on. And unfortunately, like, you've been with him for so... You've been with him for so long, 13 years, that if something medically were to happen to you, unfortunately, the laws don't govern people who just love each other, right. having all the roles and stuff. And marriage, unfortunately, is the holy grail of relationships. So as we move into our middle age, marriage is something definitely to consider when it comes to legal proxies and things like that. Do you understand? So I say I do. <laughs> Only if you do. Don't blame me, though. <laughs> but yeah, 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 Linda, okay. yeah. Great, thank you, Wendy. Good luck. Okay. okay. There's a woman in the audience who wants to move to Australia with a man she's only known for a month. Oh. More Ask Wendy is next. Yeah. <laughs> How you Hi, doing? Hi, Wendy. My name's Taylor. How you doing? I'm not sure, Taylor. <laughs> so, Sing um, it, sister. Yeah, so I am in love with this amazing guy. Uh, I've only known him for a month, and he happens to be from Australia. And uh, he kind of has some baggage. He has five kids and a grandchild. Oh. older than me but I love him and he loves me and he really wants me to take the plunge and move to Australia with him so what do you think do I move to Australia and give this a chance okay so you made this up because you wanted to be on TV right I swear to you this is my life right now okay then we won't judge but we're judging how old are you honey 24 okay uh, what does your mom say She's kind of okay with it. Is your mother here with you? Yeah. Where, 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 where's your mother? Right there. Mom? Mom. Oh. This is not true. Okay. I Wait. 
so, no, you're gonna be getting married. Yes! And so you don't mind if she moves to Australia with a man she's only known for one month who has five kids and a grandchild I, who's 14 years older than her? I totally mind. But I have to support... She's 24. I, I, no, I, no, I, I, no. <laughs> All right, Mom, thanks. <laughs> Your question is... Do I move to Australia and give no. it a chance? <laughs> no. And furthermore, this guy, you're in way over your head, honey bun. You're 24 with no children. No. You're beautiful. You've got your whole life ahead of you. And you're with a man 14 years older than you with five kids and a grandchild. Have several seats. Yeah. Oh, my God. How are you doing? How are you doing, Wendy? Good. I've been dating this guy for two months. He finally get to take me out. We go meet his friends. When I get there, Wendy, I see that one of his friends is my ex. So. How long um, were you with the ex? I was with the ex for like three months. And how long ago did you break up with the ex? Uh, maybe like six months ago. Okay. Yeah, and I was wondering, like, should I tell him? Yes. Just tell him. It, 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 my opinion is you should tell a guy as much as you possibly can within the first three months. That, okay. that way, like, your friend can't torpedo the relationship because you've already done it. Wow. Okay. I, I like that you date a lot and date often. I love it. Yes, yes. Enjoy <laughs> yourself. Meals. And hopefully, hopefully he'll be mature enough. Did you sleep with the ex? Yes. <laughs> okay, well, good luck. Thank you, Wendy. How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? Good, thanks. My name is Alice, and my question's about my 18-year-old daughter, who's right now in her first semester of college. She was home for the East, uh, Easter, Thanksgiving break, uh -huh. and she wanted to know if she could have a sleepover with a guy friend from high school. <laughs> I didn't want to be the uncool mom, but I did say no. She's going to be home again soon for Christmas. Right. And now I don't know whether... I know she's going to ask me again, and I don't know whether I should allow her to do it. She Noah. is 18. Noah. Okay. Noah. Is she, is she paying her own tuition? No. Is she paying your mortgage? No. <laughs> Does she have anything to offer financially to the table? No. You are her mother, and your rules go. Noah. And furthermore, what's your daughter's name? Leah. Leah. Uh -oh. <laughs> Leah, you gotta learn to be sneaky like the rest of us. <laughs> Leah, honey, when, when Alice goes to bed, your mom, you sneak that boy in the back door and whatever goes, goes. No, the nerve, of, the nerve of these kids to approach us with stuff like that. Sneak like the rest of us. Okay. All right. All right. Hi, Wendy. My name is Letitia. How are you doing? Hi, Letitia. I have a 13-year-old daughter, and we're talking about sex. And she's curious about my first sexual experiences, how old I was, you know, if it was with a boyfriend, you know, questions like that. And I don't know whether to be honest with her. Were you slutty? <laughs> No, because I, 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 I'm trying to prepare my answer for you. What? <laughs> I, 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 is it something? Maybe, emba is it embarrassing? Well, maybe I wouldn't want her to do things the way I did things. Oh. You know. And what did you do? <laughs> uh, nothing awful. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So here's what you do, because I got one of those too. You know, the 14-year-old. He's been asking about sex for ages, and of course he asked me when my first time was, and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. And I was honest with him. I wasn't slutty, you know. It, it, I was age appropriate compared to what kids are these days, right? You know, and and I told him, and I find that being honest with kids these days is better than lying because parents who lie are why most of us are screwed up today. Because our parents, <laughs> our parents lied to us, correct? Yeah. Right. yeah. As long as it wasn't something horrible and slutty, tell her the truth. Okay. It's so sweet. Okay. All right. Thank you, You're welcome, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. My name is. Denise, how you doing? Hi, Denise. How can I help? Okay, a group of girlfriends and myself uh -huh. have committed to having dinner once a month at each other's house. Mm -hmm. So I'm a guest at someone's house, and I will piss the kitchen, and she stirs the pot and licks the spoon. Oh, and every, isn't everybody high Stirs high right? the pot again. Okay. So I'm mortified. Well, I guess you won't be eating at so, my house, so I'm always stirring and licking. <laughs> and I swig out of the orange juice. <laughs> So my question to you is, should I say something to the hostess? No. Should I tell my girlfriends? No. Just save myself. Yeah, but here's, the, here's the thing, everybody. How do you know the food is good if you're not, if you're not stirring and licking? I don't care. <laughs> no, no. You, you, don't, you don't think that restaurant cooks... Exactly. These people are unrealistic. <laughs> Denise. But I saw 
<laughs> so what? <laughs> All right. So just let, save myself. Let I have it, to save myself. She, that, I'm sure that's not the only thing she licked in. I'm oh. sure. That, like, I'm, she tasted everything. She tasted everything. Of course she did. Of course. Get out of here, Denise. <laughs> Done. Not disco pants from back in the day. Yes, 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 Wendy. Otherwise known as Sandy from Greece. <laughs> Olivia Newton John, come out here while your fans look at you and then I consult you. Now, how can I help? How are you, Wendy? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm very <laughs> Thank you. My name is Stoella. I've been with my boyfriend for seven years and I think he's cheating on me. Oh. I know. <laughs> I've been cleaning up the apartment, coming across underwear, clothes. Now, Wendy, I'm a size 2'4", and these clothes are a size 14, so I know they're not mine. Well, you know, there's a saying, watch out for the big girl. <laughs> watch out for the big girl. Ew. So, are these definite signs that he's cheated on me? Should I confront him? Does he's he been... have a sister with a 14 panty? Um, uh, no. <laughs> Do, okay, well, and how many bedrooms is the apartment? Just, I'm just... Three. Three. His, his sister and his daughter. Okay, so he does have a sister. Yes, but she doesn't live there because she works. Okay. Well, have, have, how long has this been going on? You've been finding these clothes? Uh, a little bit, bit over two years. Okay. Oh. Well, you're waiting a really long time to confront this situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, when you get home, you need to ask him about this because I smell a rat. Yeah. Unless he can explain different, you find jewelry and everything? Anything. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> More ask Wendy. Uh-huh. What, what were you saying? How you doing, Wendy? No, you were saying woo, woo. <laughs> okay. How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? My name is Edmonia, and I'm from Richmond, Virginia. Edmonia? Yes. Okay. And I've been married for 28 wonderful years. All right. <laughs> Amen. And recently, we moved my mother my 70-year-old mother and my 86-year-old grandmother into our home for financial reasons, because we love them, I'm the only girl. Okay, but picture this. It wreaks havoc on my love life. Oh. There is no money in the budget for a getaway or, you know, a little hotel, motel here right. every now and then. And the walls are thin? Very, ve <laughs> very, uh, very, ve ve very, very. <laughs> Crossed her eyeballs. <laughs> and I'm very much in love with this man that God gave me. 28 years, right? Okay. 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 How do we find time for husband and wife relationships? Because the old ladies never leave all, the house. Ne never. Well, well, one is bedridden and okay. one, so you know. Okay. Help, Wendy. Creativity, <laughs> Wendy. Help. The garage. <laughs> Patio furniture, one day I'll tell you a story. <laughs> Patio furniture, you know, well, I want to keep it fresh and renewed, so hey, that's a thought. Uh, yeah, you got to get creative. Okay. All right, but bless your heart. Yes, God is blessed. Yes, yes. How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? Good. Good. Listen, I, um, I'm 99% sure that a female co-worker was in a porn video that I've seen a few times. Perfect. Now, yeah, that's what I say, perfect, right? Okay. Now, every time I see her, I want to ask her. Should I ask her, or is that unprofessional? Yes! Ask her. There is, wait, no, no, wait, wait, no, hold on. All right, let me ask my other co-host. Clap if you think it's unprofessional. He should keep his mouth shut. See, you're going against us. Those aren't my people, then. Okay, they're not your co-hosts today. Listen, just ask. And you know what? And how would I do that? Make sure you have it queued up on your device. <laughs> To show. Is just, this you? Just say, <laughs> no, but you know what? Just do it in a, hey, by the way, nice you know, I enjoy porn. <laughs> and, and I was looking, and this looks like you. Is, Is it you? you? Yeah. Very good. And I won't tell anyone, but just, it's out there, girl. I already have, but anyway. Okay, okay, go <laughs> All right. How are you doing? How you doing, Wendy? Good. My name is Alexis, and my husband thinks it's okay to call my best friend for advice, especially when we get into an argument or when he wants to buy me something because he got into an argument. Now, I know he's still talking to her. He thinks it's no big deal because I look at the phone bill. Okay. Should I be upset? Yes. 
And I'm not thinking that they're fooling around. All mm -hmm. I'm thinking of is that maybe one day they will. Mm -hmm. Number one. Number two, I think it's very unnatural for your man, uh, whether he's husband or boyfriend, to mm -hmm. be calling your best friend. There's only one reason or, or a, a couple of reasons that a man should be calling your best friend. Number mm -hmm. one, you want something for Christmas and he wants to know what to get you. Absolutely. Or you're not answering your cell phone, so he's like, where's she at? Put her on. It's wrong. You're wrong, sir. Ask Wendy is uh, going to continue next. Keep it here.